I believe you remember I built a 4chan remote control system and you know guys which I was developing. It works pretty well. But there is no APRO unit which means you have to turn it on again when the electricity is off. Also where I used relay to turn on the AC appliances which I have been using for the last 6 months and I have noticed there have been problem with my relays which sometimes does not work properly. So in today's video you will see how to add EPROM at the same time you will see how to solid state relay can be used instead of normal relay. And you know guys whereas in my previous version I made it into a normal prototype board. But in this version I want to make it to PCB. And with that calculation in my mind I made it as beautiful as possible. And that's what definitely I order from JLC PCB. And you all know that is a very good company for PCB. And choose a PCB of any color for free of cost. And the PCB quality is really awesome. And if you have any question about the PCB, you can chat online at any time. So I would say, without wasting any more time, you can place your first order for only $2. For more information, you can visit Jill's PCB website. See guys, this is the circuit diagram. Isn't that very easy, right? Anyone can make it. How did I create this code and how does it actually work? That is why watch my previous video to know all this. Okay, let's make it. And you know guys, I already ordered 10 PCB here, so now I will use one here for myself. Okay, let's mount all the component in this board. Maybe in the future I can update my code, so I will definitely use here IC socket. And here I will add 4 LEDs to analyze the IC's output signal. And definitely you must have an IR receiver to receive infrared sense. Since my microcontroller is capable maximum 5V, so I will use here 7805 IC. And definitely I will add all the filter condenser here to filter the voltage. And at the end I will mount the IC here. For the first test I will set my power supply within 12V and, and connect this power source with my board. And definitely I will see if my IC is working properly or not. And I hope you can see here the 4 signal is being output correctly. But, but the EPROM is not active in this circuit yet. I will definitely try to explain to you how an analog EPROM is works. And in this case, I decide to use 300 milliamp for battery here. If I connected a PNP transistor to this battery, and then if I make a voltage divider with battery voltage and external voltage source to active the transistor, then you can see the roughly 3 volt without external power we can get from this battery. But when the external power is added, the voltage will stop flowing out from this battery. This is the trick that I used here. This way the battery can be saved and our system will be work absolutely fine like a prom. Ok guys, let's check it out again in the final, how it's really working. So again I will reconnect the power with this board and you can see here it is working properly as before. See here, every time I disconnect the power and reconnected it and it is the same as before. This means that our prom is working pretty well. Ok, the next final stage is the solid state relay. First of all, I need a 220V AC bulb to test it properly. I am going to use BT134 try here. It is capable of carrying load of more than 1kW. With that, I will use here to control track MOC3021 track driver optocoupler. Let's try to create a circuit and see how it actually works. Tracks terminal 1 and terminal 2 are AC switches. And definitely you must connect the pull down resistor and current limiting resistor with this gate pin. And after then I will connect the optocoupler to gate pin and our circuit is done. And after then for check it I will add 220 volt in this circuit. Then I will select 5 volt in my power supply and I will add us to LED pin of this optocoupler. And see my bulb is on which means the circuit is working very well. I hope you can understand this circuit point. Let's mount all the component in this board. Please note guys, electronics is not a game. If you don't have enough knowledge about electronics, then you should not try to make this kind of circuit at home. Your one small mistake can invite a lot of danger. Ok, you can see guys, my circuit is done properly. Now let's do the final test to see if everything is working properly or not. To see this, I will use here 4 light here and, and connected their terminal to my board. And again I will supply AC voltage and as well as 12 volt I connected with this board and see my circuit is working very well and I would definitely ask you if you want to know more about it as well as if you want to download it code then you can watch my previous video I hope you can get your all answer 
Okay guys, this is the short video for today. If you don't like this video, you can definitely dislike it. And if you like this video, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you again. Stay well and stay healthy.